guys, today we are going to review the Deep Throat Pedal by Adam Kukielewski from Poland and it's basically a WH10 style wah pedal. First of all, I'm sorry but I must admit that I'm not happy with this pedal. In fact, it sounds more similar to a black version of the WH10, the one without boost, rather than uh, a version 1 or version 2 of the pedal, the grey ones. And sadly this isn't made clear really when you order one. I actually received it after waiting 10 weeks instead of 6 to 4 as planned. And communication isn't been so good in this uh, period of waiting uh, because Adam was always busy and didn't reply to my messages. When I received it I expected it to be at least similar to the WH10, to the version 1. But Adam started saying that this was intended more to be like a black version of the WH10. Anyways, he has been so kind uh, to let me return it in order to add this uh, boost to the pedal. He got it back and after a few weeks uh, the pedal came back to my home and uh, sadly, uh, the issue is still there. Uh, the pedal has no volume boost, no gain boost, and less depth. As I opened it, I can clearly tell that uh, this is completely based on a version 1 of the WH10, the grey version. But I can't really explain why um, this pedal has no boost etc and even why Adam told me and also to uh, for example my friend Oli Bert um, that the pedal is based on a black WH10 because that's not true. Actually the only thing that I really enjoyed from the Deep Throat Wah pedal is the cool Cool, cool enclosure. It is printed with uh, a 3D printer and it's really cool. It is so beautiful that I decided basically to swap around the cases between uh, the Deep Throat pedal and my WH10. So now uh, basically uh, the cool blue pedal is my WH10, my original WH10. And the grey uh, pedal that you'll see in the audio demo uh, will be actually the deep throat pedal. We cannot even call this pedal cheap sadly. So basically I had a consistent expense for nothing. I feel basically to suggest you even uh, a modded version 2 of the pedal because at least it would be uh, near to the V1 from uh, Ibanez. One thing that is worth mentioning is that Adam got better and better with time um, in communication and customer care and uh, um, he even did some nice things for me like this extra pad, I don't know how to call this but the advertised product uh, doesn't really face the great hype 
and the expectations that customers would have from it. I personally could have just bought a V2 and at this point I would have at least a good working pedal. In fact, as I said before, the Deep Throat has less gain, less volume. It suffers almost of a little bit of volume drop from the clean tone and um, also uh, depth. Depth is a problem on the Deep Throat 1. Anyway, I'll just let you decide if this pedal is worth your money or not with some audio examples. Let's go to hear some clips. Okay, so now this is actually my uh, original WH10 and I will leave its depth actually a little bit lower than max. Even more. And this is the deep throat and has the volume uh, pot knob and I will leave it at max. And also its depth. I will leave it on max. So let's check them.
as player, I'm feeling really a little bit of volume drop, but I don't know. too much because it has the depth on full. I would normally use this with this setting but if we compare those Thanks for watching.